we are joined by yet another education leader professor pramod kumar naik vice chancellor with ais ect university thanks for joining us mr pramod thank you thank you uh we had uh, just to take you through we had an amazing opening ceremony this uh, morning with uh, uh, keynote address delivered by decision makers from across the country including the commissioner uh, for college and technical education government of telangana and also mr kunal silku who is uh, from the uh, the state of uttar pradesh uh, uh, director for skills and uh, professor uh, kalnal venkatesh who is the director for all india council of technical education following which we had a uh, uh, leadership talk uh, delivered by several uh, vice chancellors and directors of various universities we would like to have your view and the approach of your university how it is progressing towards modernizing to a digital first institution over to you sir uh, thank you first of all i would like to thanks for inviting me in such type of programs and uh, give me a chance to represent my universities so hello are you listening me yes sir yes we can uh, hear you okay okay so far as the isect ais ect so far as the isect university is concerned ais ect ect stand for the all india society for electronics and computer technology this is our the parent organization and this organization established this university that's why it is uh, its name is isect university now this isect university is first of all i want to say share with you some information that it is established in the rural sector of the jharkhand situated in the hajari bag so uh, so far as the digitalization is concerned now we are trying to provide the better wifi facilities with in the campus but so the present situation is concerned now the students are sitting far away from the uh, department far away from the university campus and we are trying to touching them but those who are living in the uh, at the rural area rural area now they can't avail the facilities for that category of people now i have instructed my staff uh, to uh, send through mail uh, that is the learning, uh, pdf uh, of your uh, learning materials you can avail them or you can they can avail uh, and upload it uh, in the website of the university so that they can take the advantages at any time whenever they got the electricity whenever they got the uh, internet uh, facilities so we are trying for that and so far as the internal uh, organizations is concerns that is admission process is going on through online teaching is going on going on through online examination is going on through online everybody is known and all the university is doing same type of activities and we are also doing that but practically actually i am in favor of the blended mode of learning whenever we talk about the online uh, online mode of learning now we can we can toss only the hard hardly we can toss the 50 to 60% of the students but the rest of the students they are not uh, getting the facility because our and another thing is that our university is established in the rural sectors and we are getting the students from the rural area one day i become proud when one parents comes to me and meet with me that it is only because of this university my daughter getting the master degree course and we never thought for the uh, thought for the master degree and he got the master degrees and very pleased so our university touches the rural sectors rural peoples and uh, provide the higher education to the uh, uh, students coming from the interior area and the rural area this is this is our priority so we are uh, we are touching that and uh, right now our university is running with the eight faculties having 17 departments and now we have a 7 7000 students in the different uh, stream and we are uh, running our university definitely um, uh, that is uh, beside this our university is working very uh, uh, that is uh, in a very speed way though it is uh, uh, very uh, uh, newly started in the 2016 only 5 years ago this university has been started and within this 5 uh, uh, years now our university is awarded with the nescom award golden iconic award 
एंड शिक्षा रत्न अवॉर्ड फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ द झारखंड सो नंबर ऑफ अवॉर्ड आवर यूनिवर्सिटी इज रिसीव एंड ऑल द स्टाफ इंक्लूडिंग द रजिस्टर्स एंड द ऑल द स्टाफ डीन एकेडमिक्स डीन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑल दे आर मैंने जॉइंटली वर्किंग फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी दैट वी कैन सी आवर यूनिवर्सिटी इन द पिक इन द झारखंड स्टेट glad to know sir a lot of progress happening and lot of recognition uh, to the uh, isec university uh, glad to know uh, it's based out of jharkhand and how yeah. do you see the education space in the jharkhand sir no this is definitely the stu- students are there demanding but uh, we we are required to inter- introduce the professional courses because the uh, traditional courses very less advantages as compared to the professional courses like the law integrated bs uh, like pharmacy nursing mca mba now these are the professional courses now they are demanding because uh, by doing this they easily they are getting the j- uh, job so we are trying to we are trying <laughs> trying to getting the recognitions from uh, that degrees and we are working for that also though it is a very the newborn universities it is are only 5 years back and uh, situated yeah. in the rural area and you might have things uh, about this so yeah. prospect is there prospect is there is no problem in the enrollment of the students we have 7000 of students okay we are glad sir uh, actually it is the rural part of india the major part of india is uh, uh, the village or the rural setting we are glad that uh, uh, isec university is uh, catering uh, to the needs of rural india we are uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. really appreciate that and we would like to know uh, how be despite being in the rural setting we would uh, like to understand how is the approach of isec towards the emerging technologies uh, certain uh, educational institution are looking towards it uh, to Im- uh, include the uh, emerging technology courses like in artificial intelligence cyberspace and all so that how do you look at this so far its name is concerned isec itself stand for the all india society for electronics and computer technology yeah and we have we have lot of uh, centers throughout the uh, india also working uh, uh, working uh, on the computer education provide computer education to the rural sectors and this mm-hmm. is the first time now they have been, uh, uh, that is so this definitely definitely uh, that is uh, we are running behind the technology but my point still my point of view is that you know so indian situation is so far as the indian situation is concerned india lives in village and now we could we can't provide such type of benefits such type of facilities such type of internet facility electric uh, uh, city to our uh, students that is the bigger problem that is the bigger uh, obstacles what we want to, what we want to do but we never keep silent we are working on that at least we are providing the facility to 50 to 60% of students now we are touching the 50 to 60% of students rest of the students for them we can avail the uh, learning material in offline modes so definitely we are and we are also trying to running the um, that is uh, uh, i uh, introducing the it uh, programs and computers uh, educations in our institutions great great sir so uh, before i let you go i would like to have a one liner response from you uh, in this age of digital transformation in education at the time where uh, the covid 19 uh, so the covid 19 era has pushed the digitalization uh, in education uh how what how do you describe the future of education in terms of uh, uh digital transformation what uh, what future yes what i have uh, seen uh, in a ground reality just i am seeing the ground reality what i have seen that uh, online mode uh, may not be a permanent solution it is for the it is an alternative it is an alternative and this alternatives uh, uh, take the birth when the uh, covid started and we yes. are bound to uh, detached 
from the educational institutions then we found the solution and this learning mode comes out uh, from that solution it is not but definitely go, uh, good it was in the uh, previous time also we are taking the help of the technology and you can uh, um, provide the benefit to the students so i am not talking about uh, that because our university i am strongly uh, presenting this thing that because our university is situated in the rural areas rural sector so we are facing that much we are facing the problems that's why i am saying otherwise now this is the age of digitalization this is the age of digitalization everything is happening uh, through online modes everything is even whenever we are go, going to the shop, uh, shopping then we can pay the payment through online mode yeah so definitely it is in the future but again uh, one thing i want to share with you the learning material should be in a very good quality should be in a very good standard it should not be like uh, that is in a haphazard way that we can present we can deliver the lectures thank it you very much okay. thank you. yeah yeah thank, thank you, you very sir. much sir, for sharing those view and how we are glad to know uh, that isect uh, university is progressing towards uh, uh, the modern uh, the transformation and it is very much uh, walking hand in hand with the technology uh, you rightly said uh, technology is not an alternative uh, it, it, it cannot replace the physical teaching but it is an yes. it is a tool that needs to be used and uh, we need to walk with the technology and work with the technology and make the best out of it so that our students are industry and future ready okay thank you very much sir for sharing your views your thought and uh, the vision of uh, isec university with this we would like to present to you a certificate of appreciation uh, being thank proudly you. presented to professor pramod kumar naik who is the vice chancellor isec university from the state of jharkhand for dedicated efforts and exemplary work in the space of education thank you very much sir for joining us thank you thank you thank you okay thank you